Hi, friends. Me? Host Eric? Host of Talking with Famous People? Yes, it is. Today I want to talk about air breathers versus rock avoiders. All right, so... Imagine the attribute easily goes over rocks. Now, no matter how you define easily, ultimately, your water breathers are going to go over rocks more easily than your air breathers. If there's a big boulder in front of me, it's going to be harder for me to climb over it as a human being or any other land creature than it would be for a fish to swim over it if it were underwater. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you could say that if somebody's really good at rock avoidance, they're more likely to be an underwater creature than an air breather. But of course, if you're trying to type yourself or somebody else and you ask them questions like, are you good at avoiding rocks? Well, let's say they're a great jumper. Let's say they're a bird, in fact. Let's say they're better than a great jumper. They're a bird. Are you good at avoiding rocks? Yes, you're just as good as a fish at avoiding rocks because your medium is air, not water, equally facilitatory, facilitatory towards avoiding rocks. But let's say you are... Instead, a uh, a billy goat. If you're a billy goat, you're very good at climbing over rocks, too. Facts. So, if you're a billy goat, you might conclude you must be a bird or a fish. Because only bird and fish are so good at climbing over rocks. However, if I point out that you're an air breather, it's definitive. You're not a fish. It's definitive. It doesn't matter how good you are climbing over rocks. You're not a fish because you're an air breather, not a water breather. So there are two kinds of ways, you know, more than two, but it, the, the takeaway from this is most of the time people come in here and they say, hey, I'm really good at climbing over rocks. I must be a fish. Because after all, fish are the best ones at climbing over rocks. Or they come in like cloud and say, see, I must be a land animal that's good at climbing over rocks because I'm flying over them. Well, you're in a different medium, you know? It's not the same thing. Regardless, there are certain things that are absolutely determinant. So when we're talking about introverted thinking, for example, people will say, but I'm good at meow, and I'm good at meow, and I'm good at meow. Okay, but are you an air breather or a water breather? It's the only question that really matters whether it's front stack or back stack. And that can be determined with a deductive reasoning test. Well... I'm motivated mostly by up-dim plates. Up-dim plates came in here earlier and was basically saying, how do you know that your, what you say is TI is not, first of all, he said is um, the queen's weakness said that uh, it's just, uh, what I say is testing for TI is just testing for IQ. Of course, that's insane. That's like saying, My test for Karen is really a test for females. It's nonsense. <laughs> of course, my test for Karen is a test for Karen, not for females. IQ isn't even defined as clearly as females. It, you know, IQ is a general measure of intelligence that's defined by the test that defines it. It's circular in its justifications entirely. To say that I could be accidentally testing for something not real when I'm testing for something real is the most absurd miscalculation imaginable. So, but that's, this is the thing. Not everybody's good at evaluating analysis by themselves. And so 
I will have bad analysis brought to me by other people um, from outside of this community. So here's some analysis I heard someplace else. Can you evaluate it? Which is a perfectly reasonable thing to do, you know? Deductive reasoning is, is part of the equation. Uh, deductive reasoning is sort of the machine code of TI. But there are other correlates that correlate fairly strongly with TI in the same way that you can talk about moving over rocks and stuff. You could also say TI is a disinterested calculus, but that's a lot harder to, to nail down into a water breathing, fish, uh, air breathing so binary. He came in earlier. He also indicated that Queen's Weakness says I was an ISFJ. That is still brought to me periodically as a, something for me to respond to, as an idea out there with merit worth looking into. Shocks me. Because anybody who thinks about it at all for a second, if I'm an ISFJ, show me an ENTP. You know, because an ENTP is going to have a lot more extroverted intuition than me and be a lot more TI logical than me. I'm crying. You just need to rub one out and you'll fall right to sleep, buddy. Just rub one out and you're going to go right into slumberland. I promise. I want you to picture that girl at the store with the big boobs. Do some imaginary jostlings and you'll be, you'll be done in a second. And you're going to go... You want to sing a lullaby? Rub one out, Mr. Cloud, and you'll surely then sleep. Rub one out now, Mr. Cloud, and you'll finally fall asleep. Rub one out, imagining my face while you're stroking on your manhood. Rub one out, Mr. Cloud, then you'll gently fall asleep. Oh, the peacock wants some food. You want to play peacock feeding time? Sure, that'll help put you to sleep. Everyone is soothed by the vision of a peacock happily eating its dinner. <clears throat> Nobody doesn't love that. Hi, Peter. You want more? Would you like these right here? Here you go, buddy. Right there. Oh, my special peacock friend. Oh, so good, just and true now. With your feathers on your butt. Oh, so good and just and true. Three twenty-five in the morning is the best time to watch a peacock tell me he's full. I guess he was just saying thanks. He wasn't asking for more food. He was full. He didn't want any more. Running Fox, you felt the liveness in your veins. Like a shot of cold, dark truth. Cloud, you're not the first person to tell me this. Probably won't be the last. 
My hands are both warm and kind. That's why they're always biting me bong ribs. We kind of sneak up on you, huh, Cloud? We kind of sneak up on you like that lever you just can't leave behind. When you watch TWFP, Cloud, does it make you sing Britney Spears' Toxic with us, TWFP, being the, playing the role of the toxic person that you have to stay away from? Oh, Peter's back. He is eating more food. I'll share with you his meal. It's okay, Peter. I'm not going to bother you. Silly peacock friend. What a silly peacock friend. I want to see if he's going to come back and eat some more or not. Maybe he's just being camera shy, you know? Peacocks are notoriously camera shy creatures. They're one of the more camera shy of your large bird species. Along with pheasants, also notoriously camera shy. I guess Pete doesn't want to be filmed today. Womanize is pretty damn good, too. But I prefer Toxic. Both of them are quite good. I can't blame you for preferring Womanizer. It's quite good as well. I think Womanizer comes after Toxic. It, toxic is a song about her falling victim to the Womanizer. Womanizer is a song about how now she's learned, and she's not going to fall victim to the Womanizer again. You're not going to spoil Britney's purity again, Cloud. Okay? It's the last time you bespoil her purity. We're done with that, me and Brittany. I'm her life coach now. I'm her unofficial life coach. I life coach her from afar. She never talks to me or anything, but I designate myself her life coach. Come on, Brittany, you can do it. Stop getting with douchebags. Vaguely. I don't think you're wicked. I just think you probably engage in wickedness, which is different. I think like everybody, Cloud, like most everybody, you are primarily a good person who engages in some wickedness. We all are almost all of us that. There are some genuine bad people in the world, but I have never thought you're one. Even if I had said so, I never really believed that. <coughs> but bad people do exist. They're just pretty rare. And even them, they're probably not bad for everybody that they encounter. They're just bad to some people. Well, I mean, we all have our growth arcs. I think all of us regret periods of our youth when we weren't as sensitive to uh, the... the Fragility of other human beings as as we grow to become as we learn things, right? That, that's what you're talking about. Did not respecting the fragility of other human beings, and that's unfortunate that that happens. But it's it's part and parcel with youth. Dunkirk. That's a movie. That sounds pretty good. It sounds like. The kind of movie my dad watches. Are HPs likely to be conspiracy theorists? Uh, more likely to be so than, say, ESTJs or ISTJs, 
who I'd say are very unlikely to be conspiracy theorists. Well, lawnmowers can currently hear on the live stream, so perhaps he at least somewhat agrees with you, Cloud. It is hard to watch a movie in this in the theater. Really difficult. That means you're going to sit there for two full hours without smoking or anything. It's just crazy. Crazy talk. No talk. Broccoli Todd agrees with Cloud and says Dunkirk is an awful movie. Um, I heard that it was a good one, so I don't know. Rachel says good. Lawnmower says good. Cloud says awful, boring. Broccoli Todd heard it was awful. I heard it was good. I heard from Laura. Oh, wait, no. Broccoli, Broccoli Todd says it is awful. So do you think, you personally think it's awful, Broccoli Todd? I, my dad saw it in the, and he's a war liker filmer and he thought it was good. So Broccoli Todd hasn't actually seen it. So we're going to discount your opinion about that, Broccoli Todd. Okay, we're going to have to discount your opinion since you've not actually seen it. I'll tell you, was it a pretty awful movie? Pacific Rim. <laughs> All right, now, look, Cloud says Dunkirk is good visually but dry. I would say that would be my description of Ford versus Ferrari, which is not a movie I enjoyed at all. So it might not be. But who knows? It, I, it, there's some it, kinds it, of dry I, I like I, and some kinds of dry yeah. I don't like. I, I found it Ford versus Ferrari dry because I found it a very se SEFI kind of dry, I guess. That's why I forget we watch it sometimes. S-E-T-E. <sighs> Apocalypto. That sounds like an exciting new dance. I heard Apocalypto. Doesn't it sound like a new dance move? Yeah. Do the Apocalypto? Yeah, it does. Where you like pretend to blow up or something? <laughs> Apocalypto. <laughs> you watch movies to escape reality? What do you watch when you want to get immersed in reality? Real life? I feel like... a. Wait, can we look up a lot apocalypto? Apocalypto. So we could look up apocalypto because I think I saw part of it. Like, there's something in me that says that, like, I don't. You want to know a movie that probably a lot of people think are it was very boring, but I liked a lot. It was a movie about the selection of a pope. Interesting. Movie about selection of Pope. It's not the two Popes. It was called like Medieval Pope. It's called the Crucible or something. Oh, the Crucible! Yeah. It's a play. No, that's not it. What's another word that means like Crucible? Kind of. It doesn't mean like Crucible. The Exorcist. What's a C word that? That means like a place where they all the cloister maybe. Um, movie. Cloister is a good uh, word for it. The two popes. Do you know what year it came out? No. Is it like more recent or? Drama. About Catholics. 
This is going to be difficult to find. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I really, so I really hope someone does. Does anyone know what he's talking about? Because I don't. What is it called when the Catholic select a new pope? Conclave. The Conclave. I've never 2006 heard of it. film. This was a really good movie. Wow, I've never heard of it. You might. This is a movie that I could easily enough say, oh, that, that movie's boring, I guess you could say. But I liked it anyway. I don't care. I liked it. The I'll Conclave. I'll see it. I'll watch 2006. it. 2006. I thought it was quite good. I would watch it. I don't know anything about that. I've never heard about it. It's, these are people who play in it, I guess. Cool. Um, I Why? guess this must be the most famous of them, maybe. I don't know. I don't really recognize any of these names. I don't know do you? Names. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to show it to you now. It's Ooh, weird that sure. I've I've come across this movie that not only have you not seen, you've never even heard of before. No. The Conclave. I've never. It's called the Conclave. Okay. I can't just watch it. Yes, Running Fox, you got it. <laughs> it's been 2006. Anybody seen it besides me? I really enjoyed it. I thought about it for a long time after I saw it. Running Fox, you saw it. Good. I'm glad someone else saw it besides me. Did you like it? I was glad I was able to figure out a way to figure out what it was called. That that's what it's called when they go to pick a, a new pope. It's called cool. conclave. You know more about my religion than I did. Well, I didn't know that until I just googled it. Now I know. <laughs> but I guess I knew I knew at the time that the name of it was what they call that. I must have because otherwise I wouldn't have thought to google it. He wants more food. <laughs> All right, I'll go get him some peanuts. Okay. Laura, do you like my dad? Yeah, he does.
Okay. I gave Pete some poppycock oh. up front. I don't, I haven't seen Jericho 2019. I don't want to see it. I hear it's depressing. I don't like depressing things. I feel the same Depressing things depress me, sadness and pain. I only want sunshine and flowers. I'm such an INFP, or so that cloud says up. And you know that cloud is usually bright. At least one of the things that he says that contradicts the other is possibly true. Yeah, at least one of the things that he says that contradicts the other might just be true. Oh, Cloud, you're like a misty, moisty cushion. Floating high above my head. Oh, cloud, you're like a misty, moisty, two drop baby cushion. Floating high above my head. <laughs> Your voice sounds great on that. Oh, thanks, darling. Yeah. What a wonderful lady you are. say many things that contradict that to be correct in some cases. That's the point I was making, Cloud. That's exactly the point I was making. <laughs> if you if you argue all sides of an issue as your own, you're right. One of, <laughs> one of those times you're right. your wisdom. I like that, Cloud. I like claiming that as wisdom. That's smart. That definitely is smart to claim that as wisdom. To be like, it's called, here's one middle finger and here's the other middle finger <laughs> to you word people. I like that. I appreciate that its is, boldness. Yeah, you do. You know, I always like a well-executed F you, even if it's directed at me. <laughs> Thirty thousand days, too many expectations, not even worth a damn. Thirty thousand nights to sleep off the intoxication, otherwise you won't escape the plan. I've wasted half of my days. Who can tell me my priorities? Anybody knows the key. Cause I'm tired of doing it wrong. One direction and I have all along. 
wait until I know. Or is that hesitation? Clarity is no good once your chance is gone. What I need to know. Or is that hesitation? Time to do it wrong. I wasted half of my day trying on others' ways. Who can tell me my priorities? Is there anybody who knows the key? Cause I think I'm doing this wrong. Cause I think I'm doing this wrong. Cause I think I'm doing this wrong. Doing this wrong. Thanks. I did mess up a couple spots in the choruses. I have to learn how to play that a little bit smoother. I wish I have to go to this E. I keep going to the wrong E is the problem. I wish it had should be A too. That's the other problem there. Shit. C minor. She's get rid of the C minor. D minor, that's why. Okay. Well, that fixes that problem. That was wrong. Here too. That's the problem. It's not so much that I'm playing it badly as it's wrong. Okay, I'm gonna play this song again, even though I just play try to play it right. Thirty thousand days. Many expectations, not even worth a damn. Hmm, I started on the wrong spot. No. Thirty thousand days, too many expectations, not even worth a damn. Thirty thousand nights, to sleep up intoxication. Otherwise, you won't escape the plan. I wasted half my days trying on others' ways. Who can tell me my priorities? Is there anybody who knows the key? Cause I'm tired of doing it wrong. Such is life. Such is the reality of things. All right, I'll see you all later.
Have a pleasant evening.